Good morning you cracking humans, this is Derby in the UK on a cold and frosty morning. You're watching the Cycling Maven YouTube channel. You! Good morning you smashing pumpkins from New Providence in the beautiful Bahamas. Welcome to the Cycling Maven YouTube channel. I'm in the club, I don't know what the is going on. Be smile on my face, DJ play my favorite song. We are here now, we are here now. Let's smoke some weed and chase some blue goose shots with beer now. Hey. morning you absolute legends it is about 10 past 5 in the morning and you guys know I don't like getting out of bed this early Beardy's actually in the room next door so he um, he just banged on my door which was really nice of him he's not even kitted up and he doesn't even know how to get out he doesn't even know how to get out of his room that's how the good security is on these buildings but uh, we are going to meet at 20 past 5 downstairs. I, I like the way they said 20 past 5 because if they said 5.30, sort of everyone would meander down. But 20 past 5 is like a really specific time. So we're doing a 125 kilometre ride today. Beardy's going to be taking photos. Uh, I've got my camera in my pocket. and So we're all good. We're all good. It's going to be a really nice ride. It's not raining, but uh, it looks pretty ominous out there. I think it's going to rain. We'll soon see. I met David Noosa, you would have seen him in the uh, Noosa vlog. Um, Dave's the big boss of uh, Ironman Australia, the, yes. the managing director of, like of uh, yeah. Ironman Australia. <laughs> but he's a bike rider and he's got a really sick bike just quietly. What is the Velothon? Uh, so Velothon, three day event, Sunshine Coast, you get away during uh, winter, come up here and enjoy three days of beautiful road riding during the, during the Tour de France. Enjoy time with your mates. Ride your bike, have a couple of beers, and uh, yeah, enjoy life really. That's, That's what, what it's, it's all about, about isn't yeah. it? I'm losing my head, and you got moves I can keep up. Peanut butter skin, baby, you like me. I, I, I like the way you work it. If you lay me down, I can show you that I'm worth it. But. I'm in the box, but I'm hanging in there. All right, 5k in, going to be good. We're five kilometers into the ride. The pace is red hot. You stray down into these beautiful rolling hills. Really beautiful countryside. The good thing for this ride is we've got a support car, which is sick. I'm loving the support car. We've got heaps of stuff in it, so yeah. Beardy, you're getting some good shots, mate. Yeah, mate, I've got two cameras, so... You're just I'm killing it, are you? Getting something done. It's a shame about the... Uh, there's no sun out, though. Yeah, but it's quite a nice slide anyway. Yeah. I think we'll be all right. And I think uh, the sun's actually starting to break through there, so... Okay. I think we'll get some nice golden light soon. Still right. early days. It's okay. wake it up at 4.45. That's right. They don't have daylight saving, so the sun comes up early in Queensland. So that's why we're out of bed so early. <laughs> but... Uh, let me tell you, these boys, the pace is on. The pace is on and I am hurting already and we're only 10 kilometers into the ride. Okay, when I see the words very steep climb, I'm like, are you serious? It's gonna, gonna hit 17% soon, mate. 17%, it is 17%. I want you to vlog the 17%. I think we're actually already on 17%. <laughs> Maybe. I hope it's... Oh, I hope it calms down a little bit. I couldn't see you for myself until now. Oh, I don't believe in superstitions, but somehow. I can see you, I can see you ghost at night, you ghost at night. I can see you, I can see you ghost at night, you ghost at night. Um, challenging yeah, cool. yeah. roads out here, very much up and down, but it's good to get 
back on the bike. It's, it's been a little while for me. So your last race was what? The national championships in okay. Japan. Okay. So haven't raced since then. How how many? Uh, how'd you go? Sixteen. Six. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So. And how many finished in the end? I think there wasn't that many. There wasn't many, was there? I. I'm not if sure eight, but the one person who would know. <laughs> <laughs> this man here. It was the biggest group I've ever seen at the finish line in Buninyong. But if I hear one more time from Adam Thielen, I haven't raced since the Nationals. They were in January. When's the last time you rode the Nationals, Maven? I never rode the Nationals. That's my point, Adam. <laughs> Stop telling us you haven't ridden much. It hurts when you drift off up the hills. Cool. Incidentally, let me tell you, for a guy that doesn't ride a bike and talks a lot, this guy can go up hills pretty well. I was actually like, hang on a second, man. He's got his bike on these tours and he's riding around yeah. doing doing sneaky Ks. I've actually I've been playing a bit of tennis lately. I've been playing more tennis lately, <laughs> but I have been cycling. Alex Clements has been sending me running around the tennis court. So I'm good anaerobically. I'm good for 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're 25, 30 Ks in. Talk to me in about 90 k's time. So, so Adam has been tearing our legs off for the last 10 k. He was just, mate, he's only just given up pro cycling. So he's obviously still fit, right? So he's tearing us a new one. Matt Keenan, as I said earlier, he, he, he's, a spec, he's a commentator, but mate, the guy can ride a bike and we're all hanging on for dear life here. Talk to me about that climb that we just came up. You might have to wait until I can start talking again. At the bottom, it said steep or very steep, I can't remember. If it only said steep, it should be very steep, because it was not lying. There was one point I was doing about 375 watts and six and a half k's an hour. Yeah, How'd you go? You got a good long look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, just said, Matt just said, I got a good long look at that climb. And I did. I took twice as long as everybody else. And the thing is, they're doing some tree chopping on that climb at the moment. So they've got one lane open. So when I got to the top, all the cars were waiting for me. And there must have been about 20 cars. So I wasn't in the good books. Wondering how to get this far. I was a so damn blind. Thinking I should search for your heart. But there was nothing I would find My heart is broken and it's choking me up How could I think that I had all of your love? No girl, your memory's not dead Got me praying to heaven above I got 16. Travis has got two, we'll take that. Yeah. You got 2,000? I got 2,060. Yeah. Right, I'm the only smart one here who had a change of clothes in the in the car. They're all sitting around in their lycra, but we're sitting at this beautiful, beautiful restaurant. It's called The Edge and it's got this stunning view overlooking, uh, I actually don't know what it's overlooking, but it's overlooking some beautiful mountains. <laughs> I'm delirious. <laughs> But I've ordered some beers. We're going to sit here, have a beer. We've achieved huge things today. I'm really proud of myself for getting up over those hills. And for you guys, Adam pushing me at one stage, actually pushing me up one of the hills. 123 k's in the bank. Felt every one of them. You got a hundred. You guys got 123 k's. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I got about 110. We say we'll stay around, though we know. I'm a gross teenager trapped in a grown-up shape. We're talking about amazing places in Australia to ride a bike and where is the best place to live as a cyclist? So we've got a few differing opinions here. I reckon Adelaide, personally I reckon Adelaide's up there because it's so close to the mountains and the climate's good. But Adam, what do you think? Adam's from Canberra. I'm gonna be biased and say Canberra, but it is extremely easy to ride. The infrastructure's great, and there's mountains, there's flat, that's everything. Okay. Visit Canberra should hire me. Yeah. They should. You should. Yeah. You should get on the tourism. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon, Maddie? 
for regional sensors, you can't go past Bright. It's yeah. got everything because you can do great road riding. There's great mountain biking trails as well. The challenge with Bright though is the economy. Is it big enough to have a job there? Yeah. If that's you don't right. work in tourism, yeah, it, it's a beautiful place to ride. Most of Tasmania, places like Hobart, gorgeous riding out of Hobart, Launceston. I've got to agree with you. Canberra is really good. Melbourne, it depends on where you live in Melbourne. I don't like the Bayside, the beach road. It's a bit yeah. monotonous. Yeah. Get out in the northern suburbs, you can get out to King Lake, is great. Adelaide is, is good. I think Canberra's better than Adelaide. Uh, Brisbane, I don't know that well. Up here on the Sunshine Coast, what we've explored today has been stunning, but bright. Bright, okay. Bright. Trav, oh, what I'm do you as, think, Trav? I'm not as well travelled as these boys, but I, I would say Adelaide gets my nod. Um, yeah. From Brisbane, and it's not bad. You've got to get out of Brisbane to, to see the good side. Sunshine yeah. Coast is lovely, but no, my tip's Adelaide. Okay.